Hey, what's going on everyone? We're going to shift focus a little bit and we're going to look at different types of variables in Python. Um, the ones that we have not looked at before and those are the list, tuple, and dictionary. And these three, I kind of lump all these together because uh, they have, you know, they're very similar in the way they operate. Uh, although they have some subtle differences. But in general, these three, the list, tuple, and dictionary, can help us organize, conveniently, that is, um, large amounts of data. Now, they don't have to store large amounts of data, and in my examples, uh, we, you know, we'll use simple, simple uh, amounts, or simple examples with very few pieces of data. But if you had l a large amount of data, you'd probably want to organize those data uh, in a list, a tuple, and or a dictionary. So this video is on the list, and it's just the first of many videos on the list. So uh, let's take a look. Now a list uh, starts out with a single uh, bracket right there, open, open square bracket, and you, clo you close it with a close square bracket. And we can put things items in a list, like I can put the number one in a list, maybe the number two in a list, and number three in a list, separated by commas, as you see there. And uh, I can um, I can store this as a variable, so I pick a variable name like uh, spam or whatever, and I, I assign it to spam. So here we go, I hit enter, and now you'll see in the variable explorer, uh, I have spam and it is of type list and it gives us the size is three so that's that's interesting and then it tells us the value one two three and in fact if I if I use the type function which we've used before and I say type spam it outputs list so that confirms that yeah this is a list and I can even ask for its length length of spam and uh, using the len function and it outputs or returns three because there are three items in that list. So there are some uh, ter terminology, you know, there's some, uh, there's the terminology that you have to be aware of here. And uh, you, you'll hear me using items uh, quite a bit. So that's what we call these, uh, these individual uh, pieces of data that spam is storing. We call those things items. And uh, we, we, d we don't call those values because the list itself is what we call a value. So I'm just going to write that down because that's important too. The list, the list is the value. So if you go, if you go back, back to the beginning of the course, if you might recall that variables can contain exactly one value, right? So spam is storing exactly one value here. What value is it? Well, it's containing the list. It's storing the list. The list is one value, but within that list is three items. Okay, so you want to be careful of the terminology there. And uh, a neat thing about the lists, and this is actually an important subtlety, is that lists are ordered. So what we mean by that uh, is that if I had another list, let's say eggs, and I called that list maybe three comma two comma one, and I asked, um, hey, Python, is spam equal to eggs? like that, right? What's it going to return, true or false? Well, because lists are ordered, spam is not equal to eggs, and this is going to return false, like that. All right, if we had eggs was one, two, three, okay, then if I asked, hey, is spam equal to eggs, it returns true, because now the order has changed, because lists are ordered, that order matters, and the order matches with spam. Now I'm going to clear this, and you might ask, well, what kind of uh, data can lists store? You know, what what are those items within the list? Well, we've already shown that it can can um, store integers like one, two, and three, but it can it doesn't have to be that. It can be uh, floating points like three point one four one uh, one five nine, right? It can be strings like like bacon. Okay. It can be Boolean variables, like true. It can be all of those things at once. I'll hit enter just to show you that it does go through. And sure enough, there it is. Spam equals all of, this thi all of these things, right? So again, it's of type list. Now it's size 4, right? And we can ask for its length, right? 
length of span and we get four returned and uh, um, one of these elements is uh, one of these items that is is bacon and another one is true and so on okay so we can we can store kind of whatever types of data we want in span in 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 a list actually any types of data we want inside a list and the reason you'd want a list is to organize data and usually if you have like a common subject or a common uh, thread between these pieces of data you want to put it in a in a list for example maybe we are trying to describe an athlete like Michael Jordan right my favorite basketball player of all time right so we might define a variable called Michael Jordan and we're gonna assign it a list and we might want to put in this list like all of Michael Jordan's data right like we might want to put in the number 23 and uh, we might want to put in Chicago um, maybe Bulls okay or maybe Chicago Bulls like one string uh, we might want to put in um, goat as in greatest of all time and we might want to put in true like uh, Michael Jordan is the goat and which would evaluate to true <laughs> and uh, we might want to put in his points per game which I don't know off the top of my head but I imagine it's something very high like uh, how about 43.2 like a floating point number and you get so you get the idea and we could put in more stats from Michael Jordan's career uh, in this list and we would hit enter and so now all of his stats are organized nicely into this list and the list is called Michael Jordan right so that's really nice now um, you you might uh, want to make a list within a list so this is uh, this is kind of a uh, head exploding right here but uh, maybe maybe within Michael Jordan um, let, me, let me bring up that command again here we go uh, I'm gonna give myself some space maybe we want to instead of uh, instead of Chicago Bulls like this maybe we want to put a list of all the teams he played for like um, Bulls and was it the Wizards? I think it was the Wizards, briefly. Okay, so now our list is containing a list. That's fine. The list can contain whatever data you want. And then we might want uh, GOAT, and we might want TRUE, and we might want 43.2, and maybe we want another list. Maybe we want uh, Chicago and uh, maybe Washington although that's gonna go off the screen so I'll just put was but you just have to be careful that your brackets are balanced so for every um, left bracket or open bracket I need a right bracket or a closed bracket and and my editor tells me that they're matched up so you'll see that this one is highlighted and so is this one over here they're both highlighted and so I can hit enter there and you will see that now Michael Jordan contains all of these data and we might ask what is the length of Michael Jordan Michael Jordan right Jordan and what do you think the length is going to be here you might want to pause the video and think about it but if we hit enter we get six and uh, why is that because you'll notice there there are quite a few things here well 23 is one right but this list counts as this uh, as another one and that, so that's two that does not count as two separate so this is two goat is three true is four 43.2 is five and then this list is six so it doesn't consider the element or the items excuse me does not consider the items to be they're each separate um, uh, so it just considers the list to be one item in that case all right well we're gonna have a lot more to say about lists in in uh, in videos that are coming up so um, I will see you then so take care